All right, so I haven't always been the biggest fan of downgrading Minecraft. It just seemed like a lengthy process for pretty much no reason. But I was watching an MJ Owns You video, and he mentioned downgrading his Minecraft, and that's how he plays. So that got me thinking. For the first time in a long time, I was thinking, is downgrading my Minecraft really worth it? And it, I guess <laughs> I did a little bit of research, and I actually figured out that the 1.16.201, I believe, I think that was it, actually like ruined texture packs, shaders, all all that kind of stuff. And some people would even say mouse movements. You can ask most a lot of people. And so I decided to test it out and I did downgrade my Minecraft. I down downgraded to the 1.16.201. This is a really old update from a long time ago. And yeah, and the first thing I noticed like immediately was my FPS was way higher. This was something I never expected and it came as a pleasant surprise. So right now my FPS on downgraded Minecraft is chilling at just a little above 100 FPS right around the 100 range. And before that in full screen mode, it was like capped at 60 so i was pleasantly surprised when i realized it's like doubled my fps in full screen mode so that's one major major um upside to downgrading the a couple other things are if you don't know mj bridging is how it used to be Right now, if you MJ, MJ Bridge on the latest update, it places two at a time, is it, and it is extremely buggy. Right now, on the update I'm on, it's, it's completely smooth, no bugs, assuming that you do it right. But then that then that bug is just you. But yeah. So besides the huge FPS boost and MJ bridging, texture packs are just like they don't have all the bugs that they have now. Like the little black box around the crosshair. Even though that's a simple fix, it's still much better when you don't have to worry about it. If you've noticed, some texture packs have like a really messed up sky that has like random weird like squares. And that's because that's how texture packs used to work. And that's how they work in this version. So you don't have to worry about that at all, which is very handy. And that makes it so the sky looks so much better within this version. So we've talked about MJ bridging, FPS boost, and the sky. But what we haven't talked about is shaders. There are so many cool, amazing Minecraft shaders. The very, very big majority of them don't work now. There, there's been an update that breaks shaders. That update was the update that came after 1.16.201. And so shaders, you can use any pretty much any shader you want as long as it's for bedrock edition and it's like formatted right it like shaders work on bedrock edition in this version those are just like the major major things like some people say that like mouse movement is like got worse which means it's better in this update the downgrading your minecraft is one million percent worth it if you were like me and you don't see the point in downgrading your Minecraft, I hope this video enlightened you in all the amazing reasons why downgrading is important and everybody should do it. The only like couple downsides are you can't if you have any like realms or anything, those don't work. But if you're watching this video, then you probably play Hive, and if you play Hive, why would you play in a realm? Hive is so much better. But anyway, that's the realms don't work, and 1.17 skies are bugged, but it's nowhere near as bugged as these skies in 1.17. 1 1.17 skies in this version, they you can act, they're not actually that bad. It just looks a little bit off. But I would still 1 million percent recommend downgrading. If you haven't already, you need to do it. It's worth it. And I can't, I can't even describe it. And I will be like, as unless Minecraft fixes 
all of the bugs that they brought on when they upgraded Minecraft, then I will be sticking with this version for the foreseeable feature. The only other thing is if you play PC and you got used to the F11, like full screen and not full screen, that also doesn't work, but that's okay. You get used to like just using the setting for full screen really fast. I'm already used to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful in making you downgrade your Minecraft. I'll link the tutorial I use down below, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!